I'ma pull up steady to the side She keep coming at me every day and night When I left them, my life started feeling right Yeah, yeah, ooh These days I do anything I like Granted for this life every day and night When I left, I told them I would get it right Yeah, yeah, break bread and break hearts Don't get me started now, break up, so break down I'm getting money now, fuck love, I can't trust I'm too damn jaded now, break laws, got love Sorry, take it now I fell in love with a moolah I need my wrist like a cooler She got get hit like a tuna One love but she a loser Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Peyton and I'm so glad you're here. Today is Wednesday and we are officially on week three of unemployment. And I'm getting a little antsy. I'm still waiting to hear back from the job I applied to last week. The recruiter told me last week that I would be hearing at some point later on this week or early next week. Um, but then I got another message from the recruiter and they said they'd try and give me an update this week. So fingers crossed, I'm kind of been like anxious and anytime I see a new email in my inbox, I'm like rushing to check it. So just think good thoughts for me and if I hear anything, I will definitely update the vlog. But um, other than that, I just had a really slow morning. I did not sleep well last night at all. So I just took my time this morning and ate my breakfast. I'm just watching some YouTube right now. I'm watching Sydney Adams' new vlog and I just love how frequent she uploads. But today is just gonna kind of be a get our life together video. Um, I might do this like a few days in my life or this might just be today, I haven't decided yet. Uh, but today we are gonna do an apartment reset. I definitely neglected my apartment during the long weekend and I meal prepped yesterday. So there's just like a lot to clean up. It might go climbing today if I can work myself up to it. Uh, you saw me and Henry go on Sunday in my last vlog and I had a lot of fun, but the best way to get better at climbing is to be consistent and I have not been consistent. So we're gonna try and go today. And I've got some admin work, if you will, on the unemployment front. I need to call the unemployment office and like follow up with the issues we found last week. Um, I finally got my new health insurance card, so I need to like activate those. And I'm probably gonna apply for some more jobs today just because I'm getting nervous. Uh, even though I still have plenty of time before like I run out or I still have plenty of time I don't need to be freaking out, but it'll just give me some peace of mind that some more resumes are out in the world. And yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm sure I'm forgetting some things, but um, yeah, happy Wednesday. Decided I'd rather work out now and then have like a big block of time this afternoon to kind of clean my apartment and get everything together. So I threw on some climbing clothes and I'm at the climbing gym now. Uh, I'm a little nervous because I mean, last time you guys saw me climb, that was the first time in a really long time and that was with Henry and I'm climbing by myself today. <laughs> so um, I might get a couple clips, but I probably won't be in there long because honestly, I'm still sore from climbing on Sunday. I'm just gonna get a little climb in and then after I might stop by the local market and pick up some more Celsius and a bag salad for tonight's dinner. I'm back from the gym and my quick run to get some Celsius. Um, I got Fuji apple pear, always my favorite, and I got lemon lime. I don't know if this is a new flavor or maybe it's new to me, but I really, really like it. Um, it's not as sweet as a lot of the other flavors, which sometimes I don't really, I mean, this is really good, but it's also a little sweet. So I've been going for this one when I don't want something as sweet. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I maybe climbed for like 25 minutes. Um, it was not like, it was not an intense session. Um, I climbed two different routes and I was kind of pumped after that. Uh, there were also a lot of people there and I hate climbing when there's a lot of people. 
So I think I'm gonna try and just wake up early and go when they first open tomorrow. They opened earlier on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, and tomorrow's Thursday. So I think I'm gonna try and get there right when they open because usually nobody's there that early. Yeah, so that's the plan for now. I am gonna do some laundry and change out of my climbing clothes because I'm like, well, you can't really see, but I'm like covered in chalk. And then maybe get started on some of this cleaning I need to do. All right, second outfit change of the day. I'm just wearing these black running shorts and this little black halter tank from Amazon. I'm just gonna be like running around the apartment for a little bit and cleaning everything. So I just, I know I'm gonna get hot and sweaty. So I just wanted something comfortable. I've got a poppy and a poppy on my bed over there. I don't know if you can see her. <laughs> And then for lunch, I've got a uh, chicken burrito that I prepped and then some of the salmon salad and some crackers. The chicken burrito is probably one of my favorite recipes to meal prep now that I've made it. It was so easy and it made six burritos. And like, I don't know if you can tell, like this is a pretty substantial burrito. Um, I think the only thing I would change is next time I wanna use like a protein tortilla just to give it a little more protein. But it's literally just, I think the recipe calls for beef, but I use chicken. Some chicken with a taco packet and then mix in uh, some red enchilada sauce, some Greek yogurt. And then I put a slice of the laughing cow cheese in there just to thicken it up a bit. And like that was it. It was so easy. So I'm going to enjoy this. And then I promise we will finally get to cleaning. <laughs> Always heard my guard up and now I'm see-through. Thinking we're all alive, what should I need to? Thank you for sticking around. You're always holding it down five-ish weeks now with a company for a job I was super, super interested in. I had applied for it even before I was laid off. Um, so I was in the middle of the interview process when I got laid off. And I just heard from the recruiter today that I got the job. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited. This job is something that I have been trying to pivot my career towards for about the last year. And there just like wasn't a lot of opportunity to do it at my former company and this job like when i say it is the like most perfectly aligned job with what i want to do and how i want to take my career to the next step like this is it um and just i love this brand that i'm going to be working under i love the product that i'm working with and i loved love love the team every interview i just felt like more and more like i was gelling with the team um, and I'm so excited, <laughs> she called, and I got the job. <laughs> I understand that like not everyone is as fortunate as I have been in this unemployment situation. Um, not everybody gets their dream job or gets the job. Uh, I have been through the process where I really liked a job. I thought I was gonna get it and I didn't get it. So don't think this is a one and done thing, um, but I'm really, really excited. All right, it's a bit later now, and I have hiccups. Um, I think the last thing you guys saw was I found out I got the job. Um, I'm so excited, and I called literally everyone I knew. And then after that, I just went and picked up Chick-fil-A, and Henry and I just hung out on his patio for a little bit and just celebrated. They obviously kind of didn't go as planned in a good way, so I think I'm going to carry this vlog 
into tomorrow, but for now it's about 8.30. I'm just gonna start getting ready for bed and kind of wind down. I thought I would talk to you guys a little more in depth kind of about my job interview process and what questions I asked during my offer discussion and did I negotiate so we can just hop on into that so I think I told you guys before I applied for this job while I was still employed at my other company probably a week before I got laid off so that's the third week in April and it is now the last week in May and I got my offer letter yesterday. So I got it the last day in May and so that's a very long process. Uh, not every process is that long and some are even longer. It's really up to the company but uh, what I did when I applied is I was worried that my resume wasn't going to hit the algorithm or get past the recruiters. So what I did is I changed my resume. I just tweaked it a little bit to really showcase the skills that I had that were in the job description. It was a customer analytics software that I had. I didn't have on my resume, but I did have experience with it. So I added it. And what I also did is you don't always get this option, but I saw this position on LinkedIn because the hiring manager uh, posted about it and said, I'm hiring. And so what I did is after I applied, I messaged him. <laughs> I messaged him on LinkedIn and said, hey, I just wanted to express interest in this. I applied, but just wanted to make sure that my resume made it to you. And that person was actually uh, the person that told the recruiter to pull my resume. I don't know if my resume had already been through or had gotten through, but my name was on his mind and he reached out to the recruiter and said, hey, make sure we pull this resume. The first thing is if you can send a personal message or a personal email. The second thing I did was I learned everything about this company that I could learn, everything about the position. I knew a lot about this company already because it's a company I love and um, I shop there a lot. So I knew a little bit, but I did a little more and just was prepared for, you know, those typical questions like, why do you want to work here? What makes you excited? You know, why do you think you're a good fit for this job? So I learned, I learned everything I could. The next thing was I had a phone phone screening with the recruiter and she just gave me like an overview of the job, made sure we were the right fit. And your interview starts when you talk to the recruiter, whether you realize it or not. The recruiters are kind of the gateway into your job interviewing process. So don't take that phone screening light, but they're a great resource and you're gonna be in contact with them throughout the interview process. Step was after I had the phone screening with the recruiter, I had an interview with the hiring manager. It went interview with the hiring manager, interview with the program manager, interview with a business partner that works with the team, and then an interview with the senior analyst on the team. Uh, so five interviews total, and it was a very long process. Uh, probably one of the longer interview processes I've been a part of, but I think because I didn't have a panel in any of these, they wanted to make sure each person got to talk to me. Between my last interview and my offer notice, it was about a week and no one really knew when I asked at the end of every interview, you know, what is the timeline for next steps? No one really knew. After about two or three days after my last interview, I reached out to the recruiter and I wasn't like, hey, what's going on? I just said, hey, do you have any insight about the timeline for next steps? But I think it's a, it's perfectly fine to ask, especially if no one's told you, you know, what, what's going on here. So that's what I did and the recruiter was really great and responded and said I would hear something either this week or next week and I heard this week. Don't be embarrassed to ask, you know, um, you know, what are next steps? What is the timeline? Also, don't be embarrassed to reach out to these people after you've interviewed if you have another question. The offer. I received an email yesterday afternoon and the recruiter said, do you have a couple minutes to connect? And uh, I responded almost immediately and was like, yeah. She called me about two or three hours later and just said uh, she received good feedback from the other team members and they wanted to present me with an offer. Every company is a little different. Sometimes companies require a verbal acceptance. 
when you get that phone call. This one didn't. Either way, it's it's fine. And during that call, she told me, you know, my salary, my PTO, my benefits, uh, just any any questions I had about, you know, that related stuff. And then she sent me over a document after that, just detailing everything we just talked about, detailing my offer letter. And then it was a, a e-doc to e-sign my offer letter. And once I signed that offer letter, that's when the paperwork kicked into gear. So if you've ever started a new job, you know it's not just signing an offer letter and you're one and done. It's I-9 verification, it's personal information, it's tax stuff, it's direct deposit request, um, start date questions, benefits sign up, blah, blah, blah. But the other thing about my offer letter, um, this isn't always discussed, but it has been at the last couple of jobs, is uh, your desired compensation. Some job applications, you'll fill this out when you apply for the job. This one, this job that I applied for happened to ask for that, but there's jobs that haven't been. The most important thing is just be realistic and be honest about your sa the salary that you want. Um, what I mean be realistic is, you know, do some market research and see what the skills you have are going for. Search different positions and see like what the average salary for that is. Or at your last company, did you feel like you were meeting that or did you feel like you were under? Fairly rarely, if you have the skills and you're the right fit for the job, are they gonna say, oh no, she wants too much. We're not even gonna offer her the job. The offer might not be what you want, but they're not just gonna completely cut you out because you're asking for too much. On the same side though, be realistic because it's gonna, get, or it's gonna reflect badly on you if you're not realistic with what your expected salary is. So mine, um, I asked for more than what I was making at my current job because since I started my current job, I attained a master's and I have more skills. So I asked for more and my offer was actually more than what I had asked for. So I didn't need to negotiate at all. So I happily accept. I have negotiated in the past though, and it doesn't have to be awkward. And it doesn't mean you don't get the job if you say, oh, can we, um, you can easily address the recruiter or the person that's giving you the offer and say, I am so excited. You found I was the best fit for the role. I'm happy to accept. However, is there any wiggle room or is there any flexibility in the salary range? And they can either say yes or no. Yes. Great. No. Then you decide, okay, well, I accept this salary or am I going to look somewhere else? Uh, and then it, the ball is kind of in your court. But yeah, those are just some tips. Uh, I have been through the job interview process quite a few times since graduating college, and I know there's a lot of unknowns about this process and kind of timelines. And every company is different, but there are some things that stick true no matter what job you're applying for. So I thought some of this might be helpful to you guys. And I am just so excited to say that I have a job again. Um, I'm excited that I start soon and I just appreciate everyone that supported me along the way. All right, it's a little bit later now. I took a nap and I showered and I did my hair. I kind of tried to blow it out with my shark flex style, but I'm still learning how to use that. I've had it for like a year and a half and I still feel like I don't do it right. Now I think I'm just gonna go on a long walk and maybe stop and get some coffee or a smoothie. And I don't really have much else going on for the day. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and then tomorrow I'm gonna start my weekend in my life. I have a lot of fun things planned for the weekend. Like I said, tomorrow Henry and I are gonna celebrate my new job. And then Henry has a housewarming party on Saturday and then we're going to Italian festival, just a lot going on this weekend. So please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.